You're watching Christian News number one for Christian News. Now, polygamy. A few years back, people would have been laughing at you if you were telling them that polygamy could be a thing, could be a possibility in European countries, in American countries, across the globe. We already have some countries that conform, a lot of them being Muslim countries, and they recognise polygamy and such things. To name a few, Iraq, Malawi, Libya, um, Namibia, Uganda, all of them, they're down for polygamy and that kind of thing. Because part of the culture, part of the religious culture is something that they've grown up with, something that they know it's all good, more than one wife and that kind of vibe. Sexist, all that stuff you might want to call it, but is what it is, what can you say? There's some other countries that we can look at across the globe that they may not necessarily be 100% down with it, but they're willing to allow it to turn in a blind eye to it, ain't that big a deal. Australia comes to mind, Nigeria, Afghanistan, you can do your whole polygamy thing, no one's going to bother you, you ain't going to get in trouble with nobody either. And then we have all other set of countries that are kind of like, we ain't trying to lock people up for this right now and everything else. So if you were in a polygamous relationship before the laws changed, um, going back 10 plus years ago, so you were in your marriage kind of pre-2000 um, and about 2000, about eight, then you're good in terms of your marriage is still recognised by the state, but they ain't going to let any more people go out and try and do it. Um, UK, in that group, France are in that group, and a few other countries in that group as well. So if you're a polygamist, we can recognise your relationship. Cool, it is a thing. You are officially married and all that good stuff. On the flip side of that, it's starting to roll out. People are starting to question whether there should be that blockage of marriage. Should you only be able to allow one person to be recognised in this day and age? We all know already we've got gender-neutral marriages now, meaning you can be whatever you want in that marriage. Ain't no more husband and wife job. You can be who you are, who you want to be, whoever that is, and you'll be good in that relationship. It's not always a romantic thing. It's not always a one partner for life. You know, marriage contracts, they're pretty easy to get out of, you know. You can get a divorce as long as both of you agree and everything else. Ain't nobody going to stand in your way if you're trying to get out of a marriage and get yourself a divorce and move on with your life and go marry somebody else. But you might not have to do that in the future. You might just end up married to a couple of people, some you get along with, some you don't. Um, and they're saying that under the current laws that exist in terms of it being a new ground, polygamy and everything else, there isn't that much to hold you back from marrying more than one person in the law. It's going to be real hard to argue against it if there's more and more of a push. In terms of the world community, they say about 17% of people are down with the whole idea of polygamy being a thing in terms of marriage. In terms of atheists and such, so people who don't have any religion, any kind of religious moral principle leaning towards that way, they're saying about 32% of people like good to go with the whole polygamy thing, be leaving, they should be able to marry whoever it is you want to marry and whatnot. So, um, long story short, the idea is it's starting to be a push in that direction. So don't be too surprised if sometime in the future, the next thing that you see popping up on the newspapers and those headlines is polygamous relationships, green light, it's a go. Anyway, stay tuned, see how you do. Like, share, sub, Christianese, out.